Hey guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very old school YouTube video. I used to make a lot of what's in my backpack videos. I did one every year for the three years since I started my YouTube channel. They were so much fun to film and they did so well. I still don't even know why like what's in my college backpack videos of mine did the best that like my channel has done. But I haven't done a what's in my bag video since then and obviously I'm not in college anymore So this is not gonna be a what's in my backpack video But I do carry around a tote bag with me almost every day I have little purses that I'll bring to things too if I'm going out or going to an event or something but for my everyday out and about I I'm always carrying a tote bag. So today I wanted to show you what I keep in my tote bag, my everyday essentials that I carry with me wherever I go. I am someone who likes to be over prepared. So I have pretty much everything that I think I could need while being out and about for the day. Got all of those things together and put them into one and I carry it with me everywhere. So I wanna show you what I have and maybe give you some inspiration for things to keep in your bag. These are like things that I feel like I would not think about and then I'd be out and I'd be like, I need this, but I don't have it. So then I would get it and add it to the collection of the rest of the shit that I've been like, I need this, but I just never have it. You know what I mean? So now I have all of it. Isn't it funny how that works? What's in my bag videos feel so OG YouTube to me. It feels as nostalgic. I used to watch those when I first discovered YouTube and things like that and hauls and all that were like my favorite. So I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing it back and we're doing an old school video today. I am about to go to my eye doctor appointment. So I have my tote bag already and packed right here. So what better time to just go through it and show you what I have. Side note. If you didn't know this, your contact lens prescription expires after like a year and then you can't even order new contacts with your old prescription until you go to the eye doctor again and get a new one. And I found that out yesterday when I called my eye doctor at home because all my doctors and stuff are still in Pennsylvania because I just don't, I don't know, I just didn't feel like going through everything to change it. But now I've had to change my eye doctor because they told me that I had to go in in the next like day to get a new prescription if I wanted to order more contacts because I'm literally out of contacts. So I'm a big girl and I made this appointment at a new doctor by myself in my new city that I've actually lived in for two years, so this isn't even new. They just haven't done any of this because it gives me anxiety and I just, I did it. So I'm being a big girl. Anyway, let's discuss what's in my bag. I became a tote bag girly when I moved to New York City because most people that I see walking around here are carrying tote bags. They are so convenient. They obviously hold way more than like just a regular purse would. Hi, Charlie. She knows when it's filming time. I'm convinced she likes to be on camera. Do you, Charlie? So I started using tote bags when I moved here and now I've kind of grown a collection. I just had to go through my closet actually because I had to ignore this, okay? I wanna show you my little tote bag collection also because why not? The one that I'm currently using, this is my latest one. I got it at the bookstore when I went, it's actually my last vlog. I got this one and I love it so much. It's from McNally Jackson in Williamsburg. Very nice, neutral, beautiful, love her. I have several more. I've got all these. And I had way more than this. I went through them and got rid of a bunch, donated some. So this is what we've whittled it down to. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, including the one I am currently using. I have this one from Reformation. You get one of these when you buy something at Reformation. So I had like four or five of these at one point and I had them all just like chilling on this hook, but like, why do I need five of the exact same bag? I do not. I donated the other ones, but I love this one because it's neutral. I feel like I just need a plain black. And then if I want a pop of white, you know. Next we have my Aeros Tour tote bag. Got this one at the Taylor Swift concert, MetLife Night One best night of my life. One, two, three, this is one side, the other side. This is also a very nice bag. This is my urban bag that I got when I visited New York City by myself and like stayed here by myself for the first time. What is up with my hair? This has gone through a lot. This was my main tote bag for a really long time. It has stains all over it. It adds character, I think, so it's okay. I have one singular pin that has remained on here. I had a few others, but they all like fell off. I don't know what was up with that, but literally I had like five of them on here and they all just 
fell off. So the one that has remained, of course, is David from Schitt's Creek because it just makes sense. This is a really big tote bag. It's really nice. It's a BDG one from Urban Outfitters. Next I have the quintessential Brook Linen tote bag. This came with my sheets when I ordered them. I like to wear this when I'm wearing other things that have navy in them. I see so many of these around the city. It actually is pretty cool. Like I feel like the design on it is pretty cool. We have our beloved Chamberlain coffee tote bag. This is my pop of color one when I want something that isn't tan or black. And I love Chamberlain coffee. I think this tote bag is really cool. If I can link any of these, I will. And then finally, Love on Tour. I believe I got this last August when Harry did his MSU residencies or did I get this at Harry Ween? I love her. She's so special to me. And I love when I'm out and about and I'm wearing this and I'm, I see someone else wearing theirs and it's just like a bonding moment. That's my tote bag collection. Let's get into it with what is in my everyday tote bag. This is gonna be so fun, I'm so excited. First and foremost, we have my keys and wallet. I don't know if they still sell this. I got it a couple years ago, maybe a few years ago at this point. I use it every single day. I love it. It's from Louis Vuitton. I have so many cards in here. But I really like this one because it has this little keychain thing that it came with that I put all my keys on, which is very convenient. So I just have this one thing and I can just throw this in whatever bag, carry it just by itself. I love this. I'm <laughs> like, I didn't need this. I didn't need a Louis Vuitton one, but I thought it was really nice and pretty and I know I, I knew I would use it every single day. So I have used it every single day since I got it, which was, I fully think like maybe 2019. Next, I do carry a pair of sunglasses when it is sunny. It's like moderately sunny today, so I think I'm gonna keep these in here, but it's supposed to rain, so I'm confused. But like the sky's half blue, I don't know, whatever. I have a sunglass case and I like to have my glasses in a case. I have extra cases that I've gotten from other pairs that if I want to take a different pair that day, I will just switch obviously out the pair. These are my other go-tos, these are my aviators, but sometimes I don't feel like getting my hair caught in the nose piece of the aviators because it, it just flusters me. So when I don't want to deal with that, my go-to sunglasses are these ones. I just got these when I was in Paris a few months ago. If you watched the Paris video, you would have seen these. They're from Chanel. I understand that the last two things I just said were designer, but I do not own very many designer things at all. So keep that in mind. <laughs> I feel like that's a very interesting way to start off this video. I'm not trying to be like flexy. I bought these things though, so it's like I want to use them and I use them almost every day. Okay, so I got these and they came in this nice case, which is super convenient to just throw in. So these are my sunglasses that I use for pretty much every day. They're just a very basic, I guess, very versatile, go with everything, every vibe. Pair, black pair. I love them. Those are my everyday sunglasses that I keep in my bag in this very nice, sturdy case. So they're protected. And now we're gonna get into the good stuff, the fun stuff. This is my collection of shit that I have accumulated and um, put into one of like really niche things that I seem to need often or grab for often. So I started just putting all of these things in a one bag and I just got this new little bag from Amazon a couple of days ago and I just love it so much. I saw it in the recommended like a couple weeks ago when I was looking at something else and I made a mental note and then I went back a few days ago because I really wanted this and I just think it's so freaking cute and pretty and I love it so much. So this bag has all these things in it and this goes everywhere with me. It's so convenient. That is literally my number one tip. If you carry a tote bag or if you carry a purse that's like maybe bigger and has room for this type of thing, my biggest piece of advice is to get a little bag like this and just put all of your niche things that you seem to need often in this. If you wanna switch tote bags, if you wanna switch purses, you can just take this whole thing out instead of having to take out every individual item from each bag and like transferring it to a new one. You can just take the bag out and then put it in a different bag and it is so nice. And also just knowing that I have everything that I need in here with me at all times. I love, so that is literally my biggest piece of advice that I think everyone should do, especially if you carry a tote bag. This is essential, keeps everything in one place. So this is the bag where everything is pretty much. And I'm just obsessed with this bag. I will link this down below also. In here, we've got all of our goodies. First, I have 
my AirPods, obviously. These are the, I think the newest ones. There's really not much to say. I feel like some of these things are gonna be like self-explanatory. We have a random singular hair tie. I always make sure to have at least one hair tie in my bag. I usually have bobby pins too, but I just switched to this bag and I took the bobby pins that were in the old one out because they were like gross. So I should probably add a couple more. I like to have like a stray hair tie and a couple bobby pins in each bag. You never know. You're gonna need a touch up, you know? I always keep at least one of these things in here. I feel like a actual YouTuber right now, this is crazy. The Neutrogena makeup remover wipes singles. I just got a new pack of these that I should think I showed in the last vlog too. I just love taking one or two of these, throwing them in my bag in case I need to wipe away something that happened to my makeup or I wanna take my makeup off. Next, <laughs> these are so important for me in the summer. The Clean and Clear Oil Absorbing Blotting Sheets. This pack, I think is almost empty. I've had this one for a while, but I don't know what the heck happened in here. These little sheets that you can dab on your face and it's supposed to help like absorb the oil on your face and not f up the makeup. I sweat like a mother -fucker. So I usually when I'm arrived to my destiny, even this, like I'm inside, haven't even sweat and there was oil in my face. As soon as I arrive to a destination, I pull out like five of these and I'm just like blotting my entire face. So these were, first of all, one of my best purchases. Second of all, so happy they come in this little portable pack so that I can throw them in this bag and keep them with me at all times. It just feels good knowing that I have those things in case I need them because it's better to have them and not need them than to need them and not have them. Moving right along, a Tide stick. These are my best friend. I go through Tide sticks like it's absolutely nobody's business. I am very messy. I hate to say it. My mom, when she watches this, is probably gonna giggle because she always makes the joke that every time I eat anything, it just somehow gets on me. I don't know how or why, but one thing leads to another and it gets on me. So keeping one of these with me is so important. And also it feels kind of cool to be the friend that if someone else has a stain, they're like, oh my God, does anyone have a Tide stick? I don't have one to like pull it out and be like, of course I have one because I have everything and I'm so prepared all the time. You know what I mean? Like I love being that person. <laughs> I have almost branded, like self-branded myself as the person who, if you need anything really f***ing specific, I probably have it. And that feels good to me. I do my best, okay? These aren't just for me. These are for my friends also. I'm looking out for everyone here. Continuing on, these are another necessity for me because I wear contacts. These are just some like re-wetting drops in case my contacts dry up, which they do, especially at night and especially if I've been wearing them all day. By the time it's nighttime, my eyes are dry, so my contacts get dry. So I think it's always so important for me to have some eye drops or if I get something in my contacts, I somehow always get like a fuzzy or a hair or something in my contacts. So having some eye drops, very important. This is one of my favorite things in this bag. I got this for Christmas this past year and it is one of my favorite gifts I've gotten. I'm so freaking happy that I found this and put it on my Christmas list because I'm obsessed with it. If you watched any of my Christmas videos, like my wish list video or my what I got for Christmas, you have probably seen this. But if you haven't, this is my pill box and it's David from Schitt's Creek once again, the icon. It says I'm on day two of a panic attack. Which is funny because I also have anxiety, so it's like relevant. I keep like pain medicine in here in case I get a headache or I have cramps or something out and about. I always have one dose of ibuprofen and one dose of Tylenol in here. Especially also if someone else is like, does anyone have Tylenol? I have it. I have it. And it's in this hilarious little pill case. It's from Etsy. I hope they still sell this. I will link this down below if they do. It was like $9 and it just makes me so happy every time I see it. It looks like this inside. There's a little mirror too, which is so nice. There's you guys. And then I have my Tylenol and my ibuprofen in here. Come on. This is the best $9 ever. It's one of my favorite things in my bag. God, there's so much in here. I have this alarm. This is from Birdie. It's like a little personal safety alarm. So you yank this apart. It emits this super loud noise. And this is also like a strobe light type of thing that it'll put off. So if you wanna like, I guess, scare someone away, you can do that and it's really freaking loud and draws a lot of attention. I feel really good that I have this. And if anyone else is looking for something like this, I will link down below the one that I got. I have a couple other personal safety things in here too. <laughs> Ew, bro. Just found this piece of gum in here that's like open. Okay, we're gonna throw that away. That's kind of gross. I have a couple other personal safety things that I'm not actually sure are allowed. So we're gonna just put them to the side. Oh, I found a bobby pin. Oh, I have 
here. They're gross though. This one is actually foul. Oh, there's like, ew. There's like melted gum in That's freaking disgusting. I have one bobby pin. One is better than none, I guess. So I need to add another, but there's that. I have two aquaphors. I don't know why I have two, but I have one of the regular ones. And then I have one with SPF 30. My lips burn so quick and I love this, especially if I know I'm gonna be out in the sun or if I'm like at the beach or something. The only gripe I have with the SPF one is that it tastes terrible if you get it in your mouth even just a little bit it's like ugh. but i always have an aquaphor with me wherever i go because these are my absolute favorite lip balm chapstick product could not recommend this more we have a few more things i have pepto you never know when you're gonna need pepto okay you just never know and this is another thing that's like better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Like if I get into a situation where I'm like, I'm not feeling too hot, could use some Pepto, bam. I have two doses of Pepto right here. Preventative measures is what they say. I have a pen. You never know when you're gonna need a pen. I love these little things. If I need a quick breath refresh, the Listerine Fresh Burst Pocket Packs. They're the little like breath strips. They look like this and they have... It's like a little film that dissolves on your tongue and it truly feels like a burst of freshness, which is so nice, so convenient to just pop in. And then finally, this is one of my favorite things. I have been buying these and using them for so long. Every time I'm at Sephora and I see them at the checkout counter, I grab another one because I am going through them all the time and I love them. My hand sanitizer. This is the Touchland hand sanitizer. It's a little spray. Can, like, look at this. It's so fun! This is another one that I have, rose water scented. They have different scents, you know. This one's so freaking cute, like a little matte pink. I am obsessed with these. I go through these so much. I have to keep a hand sanitizer in my bag. I don't know if it's like the post COVID effects or what, <laughs> probably is, but I cannot, especially if I'm on the subway or something, I have to spray my hands before I touch anything that is gonna go in or around my mouth. Always, 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 always have hand sanitizers. These are just my favorite ones. They're so much fun. That is the random assortment of shit that I have thrown together that I have noticed. I feel better when I have all of these things. And obviously this is just my essentials like for the day if I'm going out to run errands or something, I'm just leaving the house for the day. Wait, I should put a perfume in here. I have this one up here. Should I put this in here? Oh, I absolutely should. It's a perfume oil. I got this in PR actually. It's a Nest Balinese Coconut Perfume Oil. It smells so freaking good if I need a little refresher. That's actually really smart. Okay, I'm gonna put that in there too. And it's so convenient and perfect for on the go. So we're gonna add this in here as well. Again, everything in here is literally just in case, but I feel better having all of these things. I feel covered for a multitude of activities and situations. I love being prepared. That is what I carry with me every day in my tote bag. This is like a tote bag sponsorship. It's not, but I love tote bags. That's that. I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> Did anyone ask? Actually, I have, believe it or not, gotten a couple of comments maybe a handful, asking to do a what's in my bag. Uh, I was like, this is a great idea. I am passionate about my tote bag, as you can tell. I am passionate about the assortment of things that I have collected, that I keep with me, and I think it just has made my life so much easier, so I had to share it with you. I missed doing what's in my bag videos. I had so much fun doing these in college with my backpack. I'm going back to my roots, and it feels really nice and wholesome, but that's gonna be it. I need to get myself together so I can go to my appointment and then run my errands with my tote bag. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. If you've stayed until this point in the video, comment down below. I'm a real one because you're a real one. If you wanna see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every Sunday. And if you forget that I post a new video every Sunday or you just wanna get notified right when I post a new video, make sure to turn on my post notifications for my channel, the little bell icon, so that you never miss an upload and you get notified right when I post a new video. And yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.